finally made it, didn't you, bro? This isn't your typical family reunion. These are all your cousins. And this isn't your typical family. There's already 50 or 60 or maybe more here. They've gathered here waiting for Henry Koo. Have been for a couple weeks. Who's going to hug him first? <sighs> Probably me. But he's been waiting for them his whole life. This reunion in Kokomo, Indiana was set in motion more than 50 years ago. It's, it's talk about a very, very long journey. Henry Ku's mom met Henry's father while he was stationed in Vietnam in 1966. Oh, I know his first name's Danny. When Ku's mom tried to find Danny at the base, he was already gone. I've been looking for him like for all, over 30 years. Ku came to the United States with his mom in 1985 and soon after started looking for his father. Danny was one of the most gentle, human beings you could ever meet. Danny Kinner would serve two tours in Vietnam. And he wanted to go there to serve his country and also to make something special out of his life. Kinner passed away in 1986, but the son he never met couldn't know and kept searching. He took a DNA test. But the, the, the result come back in negative. But Henry had faith. I'm a very strong believer in, in Jesus, in God. So I asked God to help me one more time. He tried one more DNA test. A few weeks later, the result come back uh, very positive. I matched with my uh, uncle, first cousin. A positive match. Ku made a few phone calls in the final steps of the 50-year journey came to an end on the steps of the Mount Olive Temple in Kokomo. It's a pretty big family. And the resemblance is impossible to deny. <laughs> this not-so-typical family reunion has everything you might expect. Laughter. <laughs> lots of hugs. <laughs> and tears. So many wonderful tears of joy. Your daddy. Reporting in Kokomo, Indiana, Graham Hunter, RTV6.